Hello, Irish fans, and welcome to the official UND.com Notre Dame football practice report for Thursday, August 11th, 2011. It is a gorgeous day, a fall-like day here on the campus of the University of Notre Dame. The temperatures are in the high 60s, light breeze, sunshine, perfect day for football. I'm Jack Nolan coming to you from just outside the LeBar practice complex where the Notre Dame football players go through their paces every day. Now, this is the view that most folks get when they drive by practice, but UND.com gets to go in inside those gates each and every day and today we're going to focus on the interior of the Irish offensive line. Training camp for the Notre Dame offensive line is a much different experience for the players and coaches in 2011 than it was in 2010. Last year, three starters with 105 combined starts had to be replaced and the line had to learn an entirely different offensive scheme. This season, four starters returned from an offensive line that transformed itself into a game-controlling unit by the end of last season. Every veteran lineman on the depth chart is also now very familiar with Coach Kelly's spread offense which allows offensive line coach and run game coordinator Ed Warner to have a different focus in this year's training camp. Instead of just coaching assignments and who you're supposed to block, the technique of how to block them better, uh, the concepts of the plays, our guys I think understand where the ball's supposed to hit, who the reads are in the run game and passing game, you know, the protections, they just have a better feel. So now we're beyond coaching knowledge and effort we're coaching the, the finer points of these plays and of the fundamentals to really make them execute well. Senior right guard Trevor Robinson, number 78, is the most experienced of the returning linemen. Robinson has started the last 24 games he has appeared in and 27 overall. You, you know, you move up in years and plays and you know, it's, it's interesting. You see the guys that were leaders when you were young, they come and go and now you're in that position and now you have guys that are looking up to you and uh, if it's anything from you know, the way to approach meetings, the way to watch film, uh, you know, the way to run from drill to drill in practice. There's all the things that I learned watching the guys above me and now, uh, you know, me and Taylor and, and, you know, Zach might not be as old as we are, but, um, you know, he's in a leadership position as well. And, uh, you know, I feel like we're all kind of embracing that role that we saw from the older guys when we were younger. We're really pleased with Trevor. He's done some great things here in the offseason with his body in terms of weight gain and strength. He's the leader of the offensive line right now, we feel. He's uh, probably been the most consistent guy in training camp. One of the most interesting competitions of training camp 2011 is for the starting left guard position vacated by Chris Stewart. Neither of the top two candidates has ever started a game at Notre Dame, but both have extensive experience. At left guard, we have a competition going on between Chris Watt and Andrew Nuss. Those two guys have split time in the spring and split time through training camp. Both are looking very good. Both are capable players. And when they separate themselves, we'll declare a starter at that position. But the third one won't be far behind. Both Nuss and Watt are enjoying competing for the top spot on the depth chart at left guard. It's going good, you know, Watt and I are just just doing good each day and you knowing just that we got to step up no matter what and whoever starts, we just got to step up for the team. It's going well. I mean, both me and Andrew Nuss are uh, switching off every day with the one group, so uh, that's been going well, really well. We're both really competitive guys, so uh, it's going to be a lot of fun seeing you guys. Number 52, senior Braxton Cave is back as the starting center this fall. Cave started all 13 games for the Irish at center last season. His consistency snapping the football and and skill at getting the line into the right protections helped Notre Dame limit its opponents to just one and a half sacks per game in 2010, the lowest total allowed by the Irish since 1998. Cave is one of 43 players named to the watch list for the Remington Award given annually to the nation's top center. Right now at center we have Braxton Cave in the first group followed up by Mike Golick. Uh, Braxton is ahead right now. He's had a good camp to this point, playing off his experience of last season where he led the team in snaps. I think total snaps played. Uh, we like the progress he's making. Mike Golick has really closed the gaps there so we really feel like we have two centers. We moved Bruce Hagee over from the D-line. He's working at center and then we're also working uh, Matt Hegarty, a young freshman there at some center and guard as well. Later in our our exclusive daily coverage of Notre Dame football training camp, we will take a look at the tackles. However, tomorrow, during the first day of two-a-days for the Irish, we will focus on the Irish defensive line. Jack Nolan, UND.com.